Religion and sports rarely see each other besides prayers in the beginning of games that are optional amongst players. They didn't really have sports back in Jesus' days, but what if they did? Or rather, what if we brought Jesus to today in 2020, and he was brought here to just play basketball? How good would the Messiah be at basketball? Let's hop into it. Hello YouTube, what's going on? Shane 2 k here. I haven't uploaded a video in about six days. Took a little break, sorry about that. But um, this is a new series I want to start uh, kind of sporadically about like a fictional character, a real person. Like, for example, I'm doing Jesus today. I could do Abraham Lincoln, a different one, Brock Lesnar, how they'd be at basketball or really any sport that I kind of have knowledge about. So don't ask me to be like, how good would Thomas Jefferson be at golf? But if you have any ideas, put them in the comments. I'll try and do it. I really kind of killed this, I think. But uh, let's have, I don't want to talk too much, but we are on the road to 500 subscribers. So this video, just a little bit of a warning, does not really get into religion as much as you'd think it would. It's just about how good Jesus would be at basketball. So if you're an atheist or whatever you are, it doesn't matter. This is a safe spot. Don't worry about it. So let's just hop into the video. So we have Jesus Christ, JC, Lord and Savior, ready to tie up LeBrons or possibly sandals, and suiting up to play in the NBA. A few things I want to get out of the way is that Jesus wasn't Superman and didn't have insane physical statures like you'd expect, so just be ready once we get into it. Biggest thing a lot of people goes hand in hand with basketball would be someone's height. The average height of an NBA player is 6'6", six six, which makes sense considering how tall some of the players are. But how tall is Jesus? Well, we have no clue, obviously. But some people think he could have been at the tallest 5'7", and some people think at the shortest four feet tall. Both kind of insane, but the most common answer you can find would be five foot five, which puts him at a huge disadvantage in any era of basketball. But let's keep him in the current one where I'd actually think he'd do the best in. He'd be by far the shortest player, only close to players like IT, and one of the lightest players standing at 147 pounds, or at least that's what Google says, compared to the average NBA player weight of 217 pounds. And Jesus would be one of the lightest players of all time, only heavier than Spud Webb, who's the lightest player of all time at 133 pounds. So Jesus is already at a clear disadvantage in most physical categories so far. He's currently the shortest player by four inches and the lightest player by almost 20 pounds. His first statistical advantage I could see is his wingspan. It's said that many were impressed while Jesus was hung from the cross about his wingspan. So as of right now, imagine a short, light Enderman standing on the court. He's lacking in almost every single physical ability compared to NBA players, but what is at Jesus' advantage? It's well known Jesus was a fisherman, which takes a lot of accuracy and soft touch, so I'm going to translate that into a 5-5 Jesus hitting threes with his long wingspan that would probably be the brightest spot, along with his free throws because of accuracy and soft touch. Now that we know Jesus is a three-point shooter, what else could he use to his advantage? Although this could be cheating, it is a game, so maybe Jesus would just overlook it, but Jesus could turn water into wine, so there is a chance he could turn a percentage of water in other players' blood into wine, making them visibly drunk. So now we have a three-point shooter facing people who are stumbling around the court against him. Another advantage would be how he could turn the other cheek, which I'm not sure how to feel about this, but I think this means he has a really mean spin move. So as of right now, we have a three-point spin move hitting Jesus facing drunk people. Jesus can also fly, sort of. While this is also cheating, instead he could just take off from like the three-point line and explode for a dunk. Then we have this short guy banging half-court shots, dunking from the three-point line, and hitting free throws. Jesus also loves thy neighbor, so he would never get a foul or a tech, which is an incredible advantage in most instances, and what ref wouldn't believe a Jesus call? He literally can't lie. A really big advantage would be that he doesn't really care about money, otherwise said as renunciation of worldly goods, meaning that he would probably take the league minimum, helping any team's cap space in the league. A weird convo is about Jesus Christ's race. A lot of people see him as white, but that is most likely not true, but we're just going to leave that out of here because that's a whole can of worms I'm not willing to get into. Lastly, I'll bring up how his stamina would be immaculate. He walked a lot. Well, I mean, everyone kind of did back then. So his calves would be sculpted, and he'd have incredible stamina. So Jesus Christ is a short, light guy who shoots threes, has a nasty spin move, immaculate free throw shooter, dunk contest champion who can't foul, and is a literal blessing for his team. So if I had to compare this to any player, like, even a little bit, 
I'd give it to Isaiah Thomas. Short, can hit threes, can dunk, but doesn't too much, and has a lot of heart. The stats I expect the Bethlehem native would be around 13 points per game, 2 rebounds per game if he's lucky, and 3 assists per game. Jesus would be a respectable role or bench player who could also dunk all over you and destroy you in 1v1. And also not to mention, LeBron said Jesus is the only player who can score on him in the post along with Shaq. So that's a very high praise from one of the greatest basketball players of all time. And Kyle Kuzma will be shooting with Jesus in front of him, and Kuzma only hits 45% of all field goals, so this would be an amazing defensive strategy. That's all for the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this little wacky what if. I thought it was a lot of fun to make. Um, I mean, we didn't talk too much about religion because that's just stupid. I didn't think I had to. But, you know, how do you guys think Jesus would do in current day NBA? How do you think he'd do against Michael Jordan back in that era? How do you think he'd do in the 20s? Like, there's so many different things we can get into. But I also want you to comment someone I should do. It can even be a pastime player. Like, ask me how Earl Boykins would do in the 40s or something stupid like that. How good Shaq would do in the 20s. How good Shaq would do in the WNBA. I can make any of these videos or do a fictional or very famous character. Um, but it can be anybody. I, I wanted to start with Jesus, but it doesn't have to be a religious character. Like, I'll do Gandhi if you want. I'll do Buddha, but I don't, like, I'd rather not because that's, like, controversial just because it brings up religion. But that's all for the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. Again, we're on the road to 500 subs. I have a Discord. You guys should join Instagram, Twitter, all that jazz. And I'm a part of this new group called Bench Warmer Banter, which a video is going out today as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all for the video. Sorry that there's random NBA highlights. I couldn't really find anything of Jesus playing basketball because that never happened. But that's all, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Everybody stay safe. Peace out.